What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video, my name is always is Face Jasper, and I got a question for you guys. I've been wondering if I should do this or not. As you guys know, my name is JZPR, it stands for Jasper, right, which is a Z, a little bit more fancy, looks cool and stuff, but like, I feel like it's hard to find, so when you, you know, maybe you tell a friend about my channel or on my Instagram, whatever, is it really hard to find me? Because when you type in Jasper, you can't really find me, so it's hard and I feel like I should change it. But I want to ask you guys first, would it be okay to you guys if I changed my Instagram name to my real name? And I might want to just change it to, to my real name, Jasper, J-A-S-P-E-R, or any variation of that, because obviously there's some guy who already has that account who uploads pizza pictures, please. <laughs> so today we're going to go over a Q&A, because on Instagram, because on this picture right here, as you can see, you guys posted over 120 questions for me to answer. We're gonna just run through all the questions and answer them. I asked you guys to ask me whatever you want. Is it fitness, lifestyle, traveling, gaming, love, my girlfriend, sex, I don't care. You can ask me anything. So um, yeah, if you have any questions, by the way, you can leave them in the comments too. I will answer everything, almost everything. Don't get creepy or weird, okay? First question, what's your favorite color? Red. Do you like ducks? Yes. What's your favorite TV show? Um. I liked Prison Break a lot. The last season sucked and they shouldn't have made that season. It completely ruined the series for me personally. I love Breaking Bad. I would either go with Prison Break the first two seasons or Breaking Bad as a whole series. Do you like working out by yourself or do you prefer getting to work out and spend time with Vera, my girlfriend? Um, very specific question, either alone or with my girlfriend. I would always pick my girlfriend, of course, but um, sometimes alone is pretty nice. Uh, it depends on what mood I am in, to be honest. Uh, sometimes I'm in a very good mood and I just want to grind my sets out. I would want to and just be in my own zone. Uh, and sometimes it's really nice to have someone who can actually push you or uh, when you're a little bit less focused and by yourself, you, you wouldn't do as much as you would do with a friend. Then uh, being with a friend is very, very nice. Hopefully this is not too dirty. <laughs> Especially when you're starting out, I would 100% recommend going with a friend. Uh, because he can help you, he can correct you on your form. Um, you know, it's just easier to go with someone else when you just start out because when you just start out, you don't really know what to do. Um, it's kind of hard to go by yourself because you're either doing random stuff or you're not doing as much as you would have done uh, if you were be with someone else. Do you fish? I no, I don't fish for compliments. <laughs> <laughs> right? What was your childhood dream? I wanted to become, I always wanted to become uh, a professional football player. Uh, that dream is long gone. <laughs> I didn't make it. <laughs> Other than my childhood dream, I always wanted to do something for myself and something that I'd love to do, which I'm doing right now. So this is crazy. It's great. But um, my, my main childhood dream was definitely becoming a professional football player. What's your favorite pump to get and why? Curious about that because personally I love shoulder pumps because it feels unique compared to any other muscle pump I'm familiar with. Um, I agree with you, it's nice, a shoulder pump is nice. For me personally it's a chest pump because my chest is something I'm not very confident about because it's lacking a lot. Um, so I like the chest pump because it makes my chest look more um, in proportion to the rest of my body. So my chest pump looks like how I want my chest normally to look right? Hardest compound lift for you? Uh, it ties in with the, the previous question a little bit. Uh, for me, bench press is the hardest. Um, as you guys know, I've had surgery on my collarbone on the right side. Um, I broke it in three places or something. Since then, my shoulder has been just a little bit more like off and um, my right side doesn't really function as well anymore. I have a lot of neck problems because I sleep really badly and um, yeah, just a lot of neck problems. So for me, bench press is definitely the hardest to one, uh, do well in and not feel any pain, and also to progress in because I, I feel like I'm stuck. Uh, by the way, I am going to a chiropractor right now um, for the next couple of weeks. Uh, I will be doing a video series on that. Uh, the first one uh, comes out this week, um, which I'm talking to the chiropractor and asking her all the questions and stuff. Yeah, I, I have an appointment in like two hours, so I'm going after this. I'm going to the chiropractor, record, and, and show you guys what's up. So, um, how are we going to try to fix that? Because I've been trying to fix it for a long time and it just hasn't been working for me. How do you comb your hair? I don't actually. Uh, if you guys want me to do a hair tutorial, for some reason, I'm getting a lot of requests for hair tutorials. I'm not sure why. Um, is my hair that cool? Uh, but if you guys want to see a dedicated video to my hair, 
please let me know because I could do that, I guess. How many times you fup a day? <laughs> None. Have you ever been offered steroids? Yes, multiple, a lot of times actually. In the gym, in the dressing room, some guy came up to me, he was like, yo, yo, so you how long have you been training for? And you look pretty good, man. And you should try to get on the stuff, you know? And I'm like, yeah, I'm good, man. Thank you so much though, see ya. It was one of those guys that were like, he was using and he didn't look good at all. So I, I looked way better. I even looked bigger than him. It didn't make any sense. I was like, come on, bro. Oh, really? Are you gonna seriously trying to sell me steroids while you look like this? Are you for real? Okay, next question is, do you plan on staying natural forever or do you ever see yourself trying out a cycle? Um, no, I would I would not, never see myself trying out a cycle. Um, I'm not I'm not a drugs kind of guy in general. I, like, I never smoked a cigarette before. I live in Holland. I've never, never smoked weed before in my life. I've never done any other recreational drug in my life. I, I just don't, it's done for me. I, I, I don't like to put stuff in my body randomly. Like, I don't. So, uh, it's just not my cup of tea. And I, I wouldn't, I don't think it's worth it for me either to do that. I just, I just don't care, really. Looking good, man. I was wondering what is the main advice you would give to someone who started fitness recently? All right. So, um, if you start fitness recently, uh, the main thing I would say is stay consistent with your training and, um, Focus on one thing at a time. Uh, I've told many, many people this before, but I think it's very, very important when you drastically change the way you live. Um, let's say you really get into fitness, right? And before that, you weren't into fitness at all. It is a very big bridge to to go over, right? It's like from here to here, and you have to like you have to cross this bridge, and like it's very it's a big task. Um, especially when you're not used to doing anything health wise or workout wise or anything like that. And a lot of people want to jump that bridge immediately. The whole thing, like full diet, counting macros, doing all that six times a week, writing everything down, which is great. You could do that if you can sustain it. But the problem is that a lot of people get this burst of motivation for two weeks and then they kind of fall off, which is, you know, my advice would be go this bridge right here, do it a little step at a time, like two steps. Do like, make sure for a month of a time you work out four times a week consistently. No problem. Okay, you did that. Cool. Then add, oh, maybe I can take some supplements. Maybe I can try some protein powers because I can get my proteins in and uh, I need my proteins to grow. Cool, do that. Make sure you can consistently drink that and you're not slacking off after a week. Again, then, okay, maybe I can try to um, get rid of the protein shakes and focus on my diet and cook for myself, prepare some meals for myself in a week. Okay, you did that. You know, those small steps will eventually lead, obviously, to the other side of the bridge and it will really help you change the whole lifestyle. Because I feel like when you do it all at once, it's just going to be a burst of motivation and you will lose it in a second. Because it's just too much to handle at once, I feel. So I've been working out for a while now and I've done everything I can to change my body, but I can't. My chest won't get bigger, my stomach won't get smaller, shoulders won't get wider. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I've tried everything and nothing has worked. Can you give me any advice or tips that you think will work? All right. So, um... First of all, how long is a while? Because a while could be four months, a while could be four years. I don't know what a while is to you. Second of all, if things are not working, change it up, right? With your training. If you, I looked at your Instagram right now and I see you are doing a lot of, um, you know, outdoor training. I, so he's doing this, which is like a, a push up form, which is a great exercise. I agree. But um, if your main focus is going to be on um, growing muscle, like this is great, this is working out, but if you are wanna get bigger, you're gonna have to hit the weights, man. So I would say is change up your workout routine. And if that doesn't work, look at your diet, man. It, maybe you're not eating well, uh, because if you, you can you can train all you want, but if you're not eating right, you're not gonna see that many results. So, so make sure you stay on top of your food because that's a very, very important thing. Are you looking for immense physique shape? Is it possible to get being natural? Uh, yes. I mean, the men's physique shapes pretty much small waist, broad shoulders, big back, good chest, uh, a set of abs, 
and, and some legs too, obviously. Uh, but the shape itself can be big or small, honestly. So if you have a ver if you have a less muscle size than Jeremy Buendia, the number one men's physique guy in the, the, on the planet, you still have the shape. So yes, it can be attained natural, but shows wise and the big guys and the Mr. Olympia, I don't know if it's attainable naturally, but um, I don't think so, at least. But the shape itself is possible natural, yes. And I'm going for that look. It's more like the aesthetic, more pleasing, not the crazy big look that I like personally. What do you think when you see an obese person in the gym? Ha, good question. Um, I'm not hoping you think that I, I'm gonna say something like, I'm not gonna laugh at them. I love when I see people out of shape in the gym. Actually, I love seeing people out of shape in the gym more than I love seeing people that are in shape in the gym. The reason why is because those people usually have a very low self-esteem. They already fucking made a huge step on that bridge to go to the gym. And I respect that so, so much to do that. I've never experienced it in my life. I was out of shape, yes, but I wasn't like, I wasn't obese or fat. And um, a lot of people do look down on that. So I was just super skinny and just starting out. I was like skinny kid, but there's so many skinny kids. I respect it so much if someone is very overweight or obese even um, to go in the gym and work on themselves because everybody there in the end is there to better themselves. <laughs> I love this question. Okay, Niels, if you weren't posting on Instagram, would you be at a higher body fat percentage in order to look bigger in shirts? <laughs> That's a great question right there, man. Dude, that's the best question so far. I, I don't know. I would actually prefer being more lean, to be honest. Okay, final question. How did you join Alphalete so quickly after being dropped by Gymshark? Um, having connections to a certain to certain people, knowing certain people that um, I trust and they trust me and they like me, I like them. Um, having that trust bond, having that connection to people is what got me in Alphalete so fast after being dropped by Gymshark. That's the question. And that's the answer. Thank you so much for asking all these questions. I really appreciate that. I really like just to sit down here and do a Q&A with you guys. Um, it's been a while since we talked like this one-on-one. -on -one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a relaxed day. Um, happy Easter again. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video where I'm going to get my neck cracked. <laughs> Deuces.